With respect, Sir Henry, the situation is that General Wellesley has placed Lieutenant Sharp and his men in my disposition. But damn it, sir, I am in command. Well, it's just because you are in command, sir. The General Wellesley doesn't want to add to your many responsibilities vis the South Essex, the March de Val de la Casa, the relations with the Spanish allies. So much to do. Also, there are certain exigencies of engineering to which Lieutenant Sharp is particularly suited. Fetch and carry, eh? Well, you may get to fight too, Sharp. Done any soldiering? A little, sir. You look old for a lieutenant. I came from the ranks, sir. You mean you're not a gentleman? No, sir. By God, Sharp, this will not do. All my officers are gentlemen. That being so, sir, I think we should introduce ourselves like gentlemen. Quite so, Captain Leroy, quite so. My name's Leroy. Mighty pleased to meet you, Mr. Sharp. From America, sir. No, sir. From Virginia. Captain Leroy is one of those brave American loyalists who refused to accept the ravages of democracy and whose father fought for his king against Washington. Washington won. Fortunately, Captain Leroy has ample means to console himself during his exile. Slaves, cotton and molasses, sir. All melted down into golden guineas. I suppose I must introduce you to Lieutenants Gibbons and Berry. I've met the young gentleman, sir. I hope you know your place, Sharp. You've made it very clear, sir. Tell me, who made you an officer? Sir Arthur Wellesley, sir. Wellesley! Ha! Wellesley don't know what makes a good soldier. Not many do. Do you know Mr. Sharp? Yes, sir. And what makes a good soldier sharp? The ability to fire three rounds a minute in any weather, sir. Three a minute? The South Essex can fire two on a good day. You think you could do better, Mr. Sharp? Yes, sir. You have until sunset, sir. Any man who cannot fire three rounds a minute will be flogged. Carry on, Sharp. Yeah. It's all Wells is doing. Upstarts everywhere. But no need to tell you that, Captain Leroy. I'm told that in America, common merit counts for more than birth or wealth. Whoever told you that, sir, is a goddamn liar. Democracy or monarchy don't make no difference. Money talks. Merit walks. <laughs> Send them to Ireland. We'd be free in a week. Two rounds the minute, sir. What the devil are you doing here? Mr. Berry's orders, sir. The French are over there, waiting. They fire three rounds a minute. You fire two. By sunset tomorrow, you'll all be dead. Take off your jackets and stokes. Spits the bullet. No ramrod. Just a gentle tap of the butt to send it down. 
You have 20 seconds. Now, the trick is to keep the muzzle up to stop the bloody bullet falling out. <laughs> of course, the muzzle needs to point up anyway. The frog coming towards you is high up on a horse. Right. Let's get to work. Double ranks, Mr. Denny. Double ranks? And Mr. Denny, if you see any man doing anything not in the manual... Take his name, sir. Give him half a pint of rum on the spot, Mr. Denny. <laughs> time this, Mr. Denny. Tell them to load and fire in their own time. Load and fire in your own time. Load! Mr. Shaw, but stolen me away. Three shots and ten seconds in hand, sir. Seven, six, five, five four, four, three, two, two one. Four shots the minute. Sharp. Yes, sir. Stop showing off, Sharp. Yes, sir. Gallant heart, I and think about those poachers bold that night in Rufford Park. Soldiering, sir, this is the life. Found into Josephina. Have you ever been in battle, Christian? No, hope to. Bloody good fun, eh? I saw Vimero. It made me cry. Count is not cooperating, old boy. I wish I knew what would please her. Ask the maids. What the blazes are you on about there, old boy? Her name's Jacinta. I had a bit of a fumble with her last night. A bit out of the bottom drawer, Barry, eh? I'm not exactly top draw myself, old boy. The Countess owes her maids two months' wages. I say, Barry, old boy, what say you lend me some tin and I pay the maids on the quiet? I don't lend, old boy. I'll play cards with you for three guineas. Or you can touch your Uncle Henry. Damn it, Barry, I had to touch him again yesterday to have settled what I owed you. Three guineas, double or nothing tonight, eh? Captain Leroy, tell Sharp to get a move on. Madam. 